do you think the Trump presidency has increased the move toward a decadent society? So I would have said absolutely yes before the pandemic. I mean, I think what's, what's fascinating about Trump is that he is both a manifestation of decadence, but also a professed rebel against it, right? That like the whole make America great again sort of thing is based on sort of nostalgia for a future that didn't arrive, right? It's a very much a sort of like, we were promised a better future than this. Um, I'm gonna bring it to pass. We've been led by, you know, fools and morons for 30 or 40 years. And if you go back and rewatch Trump's, you know, his, his last big speech before the pandemic hit, right? His State of the Union, where he was basically kicking off his reelection campaign. It was basically a speech that said, we were decadent and I beat it, <laughs> right? That was like the theme of the State of the Union. Now, in reality, he didn't beat it. Um, we just had slightly better than late Obama economic growth. Um, and so much of the Trump administration was this sort of, this just sort of shift of politics even deeper into the sort of purely performative where everything is just happening you know, on cable news and on Twitter, no legislation is passing. Um, and, you know, and you have sort of these, you know, people acting online, like we're in the midst of this grand ideological battle, even as the country sort of proceeds more or less as it was. So that's, that's sort of the argument that he just sort of led us deeper into decadence. Now, the fact that as Michelle and I were just talking about, his incompetence has sort of exacerbated the chaos associated with the pandemic means that, you know, you could imagine a world where we look back and say, well, by electing this, you know, totally incompetent rebel against decadence, we ended up with a crisis out of which emerged genuine transformation, in which case, then no, then Trump is a doorway into a different world, not just a deepening of decadence.